control. Sector sweep complete. Nothing to report. Greetings, fellow security personnel. Everything is in order. Found it, guys. Great. This should contain all the security specs and info we need. Soon, we will be proud joyriders in the noodle car. Boss. Time to get to work. I had faith in you, Marcus. It's not like the rest of us did. Yeah, I have lots of faith in Marcus. I have faith in Marcus. Wow, guys, you all just made my day. It just means so much to me to hear you say that. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't trying to imply anything. I'm surrounded by clowns. But you love us. Well, maybe Josh and Marcus. Ouch! That's okay. It's a bit early in our relationship. You throw on words like... Possible targets near your location. Take your time. I appreciate a man who has patience. Oh well, well, this very patient man has work to do. Found it, guys. Great. This should contain all the security specs and info we need. Soon, we will be proud joyriders in the noodle car.
area. So, Josh found something interesting in the car's algorithms. Yes. There's a decision-making algorithm. They call it a life score. They fucking call it a life score? A what? It's a method for deciding which lives to prioritize in case of an accident. Yeah? Yeah. You're gonna like this one. The car's onboard computer has direct access to Bloom's databases. It pulls up a score according to metrics Bloom sets. Employment, income, education, race, gender. Fuck. Let me guess. Me and Ray get into an accident, one of us on either side. I'm SOL because I'm a young black dude. Not quite. As you know, I'm persona non grata with Bloom. My life score is pretty damn low, so in that case, I'm SOL. But otherwise, yeah, you got the gist. Looks like...
it's just coffee. Just a coffee date, nothing to worry about, meeting some strange woman from the internet. Internet dating is normal. What if she doesn't look like her picture? What if she thinks I don't look like my picture? Oh God, this is a bad idea. Why did I let Jonathan talk me into this? Oh, it's true. I don't have time to try and go out and meet people. An engineer, I can't date an employee. This is going to be a disaster. What? Oh shit, server's down. Somebody checked in faulty code again. Damn it. Yeah, yeah, I saw. I'm coming in. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Got it. Excellent. What, you have fun gazing into his pretty brown eyes? Yeah, no. But thanks for playing that thought, Ray. <sighs> Marcus has way better taste than that. Nice pad this guy has. He should. He's a priority one, after all. How could I forget? This dude's house has the works. Smart TVs, smart toilets, smart sinks, smart carpeting, smart throw pillows, smart... everything! One of those is bound to have his voice print on it. I'm guessing he's the kind of guy who wants to constantly record his own Alarm has been triggered. Send local operatives. <laughs> All right, guys, I have his voice print, his retinal scan, and far too much information about his life. All that's left is to steal the car, which means breaking into WKZ, where they're going to be storing it in preparation for Noodle's big fancy reveal. Ah, WKZ. Fine purveyors of BS. And their infomercial about the Noodle car is going to get turned into a lovely expose of how they devalue human life. your own good. Nine one one. 
What's up? Time to steal a car, my friend. They have it on one of their sound stages at WKZ. All shiny and waiting for us. Sounds like fun. I've always wanted to break into a TV station. Since this is such a golden opportunity, boys, we should take advantage of it and plant some information gathering devices at WKZ. I like it. Keep an ear out. Exactly. I'm thinking some actual surveillance equipment and some software. I'll meet you near WKZ with all the gear. Sounds good. See you soon. Yo, wrench. Score! Check these out. I bet they use these during their undercover sting operations. Now, any trouble with the van? Nope. But WKZ hired humanized Zulu as extra security after all these bomb threats uh, they received. May I? Tell me, how long have you been a kitty fondler? Hey, man, you know that ain't right. Now, when you first saw the X-ray, did you recognize the action figure wedged inside your rectum? Yeah, it was my wrench figure. Figured that was the perfect hiding spot for him. Wrench, did you give Marcus the USB? Yep, way ahead of you. 
I uh, was just telling him to jam that puppy into one of WKZ's computers. And I'll take it from there. By the way, if they ever do make a red traction figure, they better glue the mask on so it doesn't traumatize children. You say that like it's a bad thing. Right, so plant Mike, put some spyware. Other things, but don't worry. 